May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be with you all. Many of us are caught up in the daily grind. We chase careers, relationships, and possessions, hoping they will bring us lasting happiness. But the Quran tells us a different story. This world, though filled with beauty and wonder, is temporary. Our true purpose lies in the hereafter, in Jannah, paradise. This lecture will explore the concept of not attaching your heart solely to this worldly life. We will delve into Islamic teachings that can help us achieve a balanced perspective, and set our sights on the ultimate reward, Allah's pleasure and the eternal paradise. The deceptiveness of dunya, this world. The Quran uses the word dunya to describe this world. In Surah Kaf, verse 46, Allah tells us. Wealth and children are, but, adornment of the life of this world. But the enduring good deed is better with your Lord for reward and better for hope. This verse reminds us that worldly possessions and achievements are fleeting. They may bring temporary joy, but they won't last. The true reward lies in righteous deeds that please Allah and grant us a better standing in the hereafter. Prophet Muhammad's Teachings on Dunya Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, warned us against being overly attached to this world. He said, Be in this world as if you were a stranger or a traveler. This hadith emphasizes that our true home lies in the hereafter. We should live in this world responsibly, but not let it consume our hearts. Stories from the Quran, don't let the glitter fool you. The Quran contains many stories that illustrate the impermanence of this world and the importance of the hereafter. Let's look at two such stories. Story of Karen Karen was a wealthy man who possessed immense riches. He became arrogant and prideful, forgetting that all his wealth came from Allah. When he refused to help those in need, the earth swallowed him and his treasures. This story serves as a stark reminder that worldly possessions hold no value in the sight of Allah. Story of the companions who migrated to Medina, the early Muslims in Mecca faced persecution for their faith. They left their homes and families, sacrificing their worldly comforts for the sake of Allah. Their unwavering faith and focus on the hereafter serve as an inspiration for us all. Finding balance, living in dunya while preparing for Akira, the afterlife. Islam teaches us moderation. We should enjoy the blessings of this world, but not become slaves to them. Here are some ways to achieve this balance. Focus on your Akira, make prayers, fasting, charity, and remembrance of Allah an essential part of your daily life. Practice contentment, be grateful for what you have, and avoid comparing yourself to others. Help those in need, share your blessings with others and strive to leave a positive Conclusion. impact on the world. By detaching our hearts from this world and setting our sights on the hereafter, we find true peace and purpose. This doesn't mean neglecting our worldly duties. We should fulfill our responsibilities, but with the ultimate goal of pleasing Allah and earning a place in Jannah. Remember, the life of this world is a test. Let's strive to pass this test with flying colors by living a righteous and purposeful life, and by keeping our hearts focused on the eternal reward that awaits us in the hereafter. May Allah reward you with goodness, for listening.